Hello, and welcome to another Astro One video presentation. Today we'll be discussing the concept of interstellar reddening. Here to help me, as always, is my assistant, Stephen. When astronomers look at stars, they notice that some of them appear redder than they actually are. We say that the light from these stars is being reddened. Why does this happen? The answer is dust. Now when astronomers talk about dust, we're not talking about the stuff that collects in the corners of your room. Space dust is composed of molecules or particles about a micron or a millionth of a meter in size. Dust has the property that it absorbs and scatters light, causing objects to appear dimmer and redder than they actually are. The interstellar medium, or space between stars, contains a lot of dust. Here I have a tank full of water. And here I have a light source. Notice the white light from the source passing through the tank and shining onto the screen. Watch what happens now as Stephen pours some creamer into the tank. The particles in the creamer act like the dust in interstellar space. As light from the source travels through the cloudy water, it becomes reddened as the high energy photons are scattered away. This is the same reason why sunsets appear red. When the sun is low in the sky, light from the sun travels through a thicker layer of atmosphere, causing the sun to appear reddened. But those blue photons have to go somewhere. If you look at the light traveling through the tank of water, you'll notice that it appears bluer closer to the light source than it does farther from the light source. This is because the blue photons are scattered out of the tank before they make it all the way through. Looking at the light from a green laser pointer, if we shine it through the air, you can't see the beam. But if we shine it through the tank of water, you can see the beam. This is because the green photons are being scattered by particles in the tank towards us. Also notice that the beam appears brightest closest to the green laser pointer and diminishes as it travels through the water. In our galaxy, astronomers have observed large clouds of gas and dust, which we call nebulae. One type of nebulae is known as a reflection nebulae because the dust in the cloud reflects or scatters blue light from nearby stars towards our line of view, causing them to appear blue. By the way, this is exactly the same reason why our sky appears blue. Dust in our atmosphere scatters sunlight across the sky, eventually towards our eyes. Join us again next time for another exciting astronomy concept. See you next time. Astronomers are... Astronomers... <laughs>